So guys, I know that this is old news now at this point, but it is pretty much official that Chevy will be discontinuing the Camaro as we know it by the model year of 2024. So today I'm going to basically be talking about what that essentially means for the future of uh, muscle cars and uh, whether or not we can potentially see a Camaro in like a different sense, uh, whether it's fully electric or it's in a hybrid sort of way and not just simply a regular traditional internal combustion engine platform. But before we get into today's video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to this channel down below. I post new content daily and as a smaller car channel here on YouTube, it really does help me out a ton. Also, if you've been subscribed, be sure to click that little bell icon down below. That actually turns on post notifications and notifies you every time that I do post a new video. And also guys, uh, if you, this is your first video seeing from my channel, I do have to apologize. I've been pretty sick lately, uh, but I am sticking to that daily upload schedule. So if my throat is a little bit raspy or I seem a little bit tired on camera. I really, really do apologize, but uh, I do appreciate, you know, stick until the end of today's video. And anyways, uh, getting in today's article, I'm basically going to be looking at an old Motor Trend article from uh, this past July, and it kind of just shoots around a bunch of different ideas of what directions Chevy could potentially be going with in the future uh, when it comes to the Camaro. Now, they've already said that they're going to replace the car with a performance electric four-door sedan. However, it's not confirmed yet if it's going to actually have the Camaro uh, nameplate associated with that model, or if it's going to be a whole different model model altogether. But now going ahead and taking a look at this article, or actually before we take a look at this article, it will be linked down in the description below if you want to go just read it for yourself. It's not too long and I do just, you know, want to give Motor Trend the credit that they deserve uh, because I'm basically just going to be paraphrasing it essentially for you guys. Uh, but going down, uh, you can see that basically the first thing that I just said before, so the four-door performance sedan is slated to be the successor of the Camaro, and it is supposed to be all electric according to official statements by Chevy. Now, right down here, it basically states how the entire conglomerate of General Motors is planning to go fully electric by the year of 2035. So that includes, you know, Cadillac, Chevy, GMC, all, all their, you know, uh, under like company or companies under the uh, General Motors moniker. So all their, they're planning for all their models to be fully electric by 2035, which is kind of crazy to think about. Uh, but again, a lot of these manufacturers have come out in recent years and have stated like certain timelines and official like dates that they do plan to you know go fully electric or at least electrify some portion of their lineup but yeah it's kind of it's really like trippy to actually think that you know in just around a decade from now a manufacturer who is a you know very large worldwide manufacturer obviously they are domestic but still they're very very relevant around the world and you know they're planning to go fully electric it's kind of just crazy to think about uh, but anyways going down to this actually like ending section of the article it just this is where it kind of like shoots around a couple ideas of what a uh, Chevy could potentially do to replace this Camaro in the uh, you know future and again with the performance electric sedan it's kind of reminding the author of this article of the Dodge's revival of the Charger in the 21st century obviously the Charger was never a four-door sedan but when it came out back in like the late 2000s or whenever it did come out uh, you know the Charger took over basically a whole different body and if any of you guys know, which I'm sure most of you do, uh, know what the older Chargers look like of, you know, like the late 60s and early 70s. If you're looking at a Charger and a Challenger, yes, you could tell them apart, but they looked very, very similar in design. And to be honest with you, modern day Challengers look more like old school Chargers than modern day Chargers look like old school Chargers. Like the lineage is very, very lost when it comes to the 21st century revitalization of the Charger which a lot of people kind of have a problem with. And it's, again, kind of understandable as well because, again, a charger was never uh, four doors. Now, keep in mind, this article was written back in July. So they're talking about, you know, the possibility of Dodge coming out with a retro futuristic Challenger, which obviously we now know is the new uh, Dodge Charger Daytona EV 
whatever the hell the name of, of it is. It's basically the, the car that they debuted about a month ago that has speakers for exhausts. And also, it talks about Ford a little bit, uh, but it says that Ford hasn't committed to electrifying the two-door Mustang yet but it has introduced the Mustang Mach-E as an electric SUV. Now, what I find hilarious about this whole scenario is that Ford kind of like waited the other two main, you know, domestic manufacturers out. They kind of waited out Mopar and they waited out GM with the 7th Gen Mustang reveal. Now, again, obviously, uh, the 7th Gen Mustang reveal as well as the Dodge Charger Daytona reveal kind of came out last month in September of 2022. And... I, I think that Ford honestly did a fantastic job because they kind of waited until GM went ahead and officially stated that they're going to be you know discontinuing the Camaro or at least not having another internal combustion Camaro for the net for its next generation and then they went ahead and kind of waited for Dodge to fully commit to the ele electrification of muscle and then in September of 2022 again like just a month ago they just went ahead and made a new generation of the Mustang and it's a five liter V8 and they didn't really change much, which I think is awesome because it's not a hybrid. It's not, you know, an EV and uh, yeah, there's just sticking with a normal V8, which honestly, if I'm not mistaken, at least for me, like I would love, I would love to just see like a normal V8 in a Mustang. I don't really care uh, about seeing a hybrid Mustang. I don't really care about seeing a, an electric Mustang. And what was hilarious is at the time of uh, this article, when it was written in July, a lot of people, including myself, thought that the next generation of the Mustang, the 7th Gen Mustang, was going to be some sort of hybrid powertrain. Ford did a fantastic job of like keeping that all like hidden. However, one, I guess, pretty good thing about a potential elect new electric Camaro or a new generation of an electric Camaro is going to be the potential of a GM utilizing the Ulti Ultium battery tech, which is also, I guess, found in the Hummer EV pickup, which obviously does make over a thousand horsepower. So considering that Hummer EV is like, I don't know, like 9,000 pounds or something, and it has a zero to 60 of around three point something seconds, if I'm not mistaken, I might edit it in the video right now. Uh, but yeah, considering that it still moves that quickly and weighs that much, could you imagine that sort of power and performance output in a, you know, normal sized four door sedan? Now, again, I mean, I'm a Mustang owner. I'm typically more of a Mustang fan when it comes to like the whole Mustang versus Camaro debate. However, I, I could appreciate both cars and I've reviewed multiple different Camaros on my channel and the uh, entire idea of having a four door Camaro kind of does ru like rub me the wrong way. It's almost like having a four door Mustang and yeah, I just, I, I, I don't really like where GM is going with this. I love the new Z06 that they just came out with not too long ago. And obviously the C8 Corvette with this new generation, it's moving into more of like a supercar-esque or like, you know, exotic-esque body design and overall, you know, performance goals. Uh, so yeah, it's really weird. It's really weird what General Motors is doing, at least in my opinion, uh, because they're kind of like bringing the, the Corvette to like that next level. And it almost looks like, you know, potentially in 2024 or whenever this change does happen with the Camaro, I feel like they're going to kind of like bring it down a level. Uh, who knows? You know, it, it could be an EV that's making over a thousand horsepower and it could be like a new Tesla or like muscly Tesla kind of car. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of these different ideas of the potential future of the Camaro, if there even is going to be a future of the Camaro. Because again, the only thing that's guaranteed right now is that Chevy has gone out and stated that in 2024, they will be discontinuing the Camaro. So no one even knows if this nameplate is still going to exist by 2025, which is kind of crazy to think about. But while you're down there, again, definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It really does help me out a lot. Again, I'm sorry for like my messed up voice and my messed up demeanor right now. Uh, I am pretty sick, but I'm trying to like get through for you guys and stick to this daily upload schedule. So I do appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of today's video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.
If you enjoyed today's video, click on either of these links right here to watch a similar video from this channel or click on the little circle link uh, right there to actually subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. I do appreciate all the support, but thank you for sticking to the end of this video and I hope you have a fantastic day.